Hi guys, thank you for joining us today for episode three of the Alpha Elite podcast. Uh, so today we're going to talk about something which is a bit of a bugbear to me, and it's this whole kind of quiet quitting, minimal effort kind of attitude that people have towards work and, and their careers at the moment. Um, it's something that annoys, like really annoys me because I have worked since I was 14. Um, at one point I had like three jobs in order to make ends meet. I was at college full time, so I don't believe that there's any reason for people to not go out there and, and give 100% effort if they want to earn some money. Um, and this whole kind of quiet quitting kind of culture is is something that I I kind of really hate. It's a it's a huge bugbear for me, and it's kind of these kind of Fiat five hundred chai latte soy sipping man bun wearing like socialites that are just coming in and giving the bare minimum to to their jobs. And I was like, I don't understand. I just don't understand why that they would. Why would you take a job? where you spend the majority of your time in work and turn up with the attitude that, oh, I'm just going to give the bare minimum. What is it that you think you're going to achieve? But then the problem is, is then these are the type of people that are whinging that they're, I'm not getting any forward progress, I'm not getting any recognition, I'm not getting paid the kind of money that I want to deserve. You're not getting paid the kind of money that you deserve because you're not doing anything to stand out. If everybody in your workplace is having this ridiculous kind of uh, bare minimum, I'm only going to do the bare minimum to keep my job, and you actually want to progress, if you can go in and give 10% extra than everyone else, then you're going to get recognised um, you know, above your, your colleagues, and you're the one that's going to get the promotions, and you're the one that's going to be recognised for your achievements and, and make the progression. But I don't understand... Like, I could not go and spend eight, nine, ten hours a day in a business that I didn't enjoy being there. What is the point? You might as well just get up and go and do something else. Um, what What do you guys think? Me? I, I, we had, I think when you gave the topic, we had a chat in the gym the other day about it. And I think there's two two kinds of people. The people that, that are like... The, the chai latte, if you would like, want to go with those people who do the bare minimum in their work and in their life. And they're sort of lazy, lack motivation, lack direction. But then, which of those are those people that, yeah, I don't like what you're doing, do you know what I mean? What you're doing with your life, get some ambition, get some dreams, get some goals. There are the other people which they turn up last, leave first, do what's required but they're using that money to fund maybe a job on the side. Maybe they're funding their dream passion on the side. Um, and they have a little bit of motivation and they have a little bit of, a little bit about them. Um, so that's my, so this was two sort of people. Like, I think there's a lot, I've seen a lot of TikToks about people saying, do you want me to start your own business? Do you want me to get, get out of the system, get out of the system, blah, blah, blah. Um, and there's people saying literally if you're in, if you're in employment or if you're in employment where you're not being recognised definitely turn up last leave first do what you need to do and take your paycheck but I still think you need to have goals dreams ambitions you need to have you need to have a, a direction in life you can't just do nothing achieve nothing you have to you have to want something in life I Something get everyone I, should want something yeah, in life. I get that. I understand that, and I massively agree with the second your yeah. second opinion, one hundred percent. I don't hate people that work in the system. I don't want to work in the system. I've worked to get out of the system yeah, yeah. to be take control of my own time and my own financial security. Um, and I understand that people that don't want to do that, and I get that, and that's their choice in life, and that's what they want to do, and that's absolutely fine. And I do understand that these people that are trying to build something on the side, yeah, yeah. and I think that's great. I think that's great. They want to they want to go into work. They want to do their job. They want to earn a little bit of money to pay their bills, which is then going to enable them to have time to work on their passion, what they want to do, and build a better future for themselves. I get that. It's the man, the bun, former, the man bun Fiat Five Hundred crew. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, what do you think? 
Well, as you can see, I'm not part of that crew. I've got no hair. You but, wouldn't, um, fit a you wouldn't fit in a beard. You wouldn't fit in a beard. We can do a beard one. Lift them. Um, <laughs> no, I, th- I think you made a good point. Uh, like I say, Josh made a good point on um, when he said that, you know, people will, you know, potentially turn up to a job that, you know, they're maybe not happy with because it serves a... Uh, you know an outside purpose like for example I will use me for example obviously you know you know my situation I I work for you Um, but we all know why I work here I work here to to um, basically financially fund my dream as you say Mm -hmm. your dreams uh, of getting to world's strongest man now obviously I do other things as well we've got other things going on and stuff like that so there is obviously also that that side hustle but I think it just comes down to, like you say, about the man bun crew or, or whether that's, you know, the other side of women. They're just, you know, just like, oh, can I have do, some do soybean? Women have a women bun? Can I have some soybeans or whatever crap that they have at Starbucks? I a jazzle. Know. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I'll be, I'll be jazzled <laughs> my jacket or whatever. But I just, I, I'm not hating on anyone, by the way. I just, I just think that, I think people have just got to be honest with themselves. Like you say, you, I, I think we're, we're, we're sort of, uh, going on different, you know, pointing at different directions that people can go. But I think basically, if people are honest with themselves, if you're happy to turn up to a nine to five, then just be honest with yourself that this is your sort of limit that you can get to. If you, you know, say, want to put five years effort in and go to uni and say, want to be a doctor or something like that, you know, your your potential uh, limit is, is limitless. You know, you could potentially, you know, like you say, you've gone on about it before, you could go to Dubai, you could go to America, you could work in all these private things where you, you know, you, you're earning hundreds of thousands of pounds for your expertise. If you're just going to turn up to a job that's nine to five, say, I don't know, not hating again, but like, I don't know, a bus driver that's just going to sit there, your limitations are going to be, oh, um, you may make manager one day or, you know, you may cruise on 35 grand a year. Well, if you're happy with that that's fine mm. you know these are these are not jobs that necessarily require a load of uh, mental you know fortitude let's say or, or uh, capacity to to do a lot of tasks it's hi mate you okay here's the money yeah i'm gonna drive you here i'm gonna get off it's monday i'm gonna go home hi guys hi kids blah blah, blah and that's it if you're happy with that that's fine but but then basically don't don't you know bitch to the world that oh i can't achieve nothing because your mentality is I'm just happy to do to do this I think yeah if you're happy I don't want to say stagnating but if you're happy just yeah. being where you are yeah. be happy own it don't don't wish for more but don't put the action in do you know what I mean don't yeah. say oh I'd love to I'd love to drive X car I'd love to go on X holiday but then you put absolutely zero effort into into it I was actually having a conversation today about a sort of similar situation uh, a friend of mine was getting frustrated because, you know I mean, one of their friends, their close friends was just like, had no dreams, no ambitions, yeah. wasn't really, just just wasn't bothered. And they were like, but, but, but why can't they just have some goals? Why can't they just have some goals? I said, just some people, just that's not the way they're wired up. And it's not a fault. It's just that everybody can't be a millionaire. The, like everybody has the capability, but some people just, they're just not fussed about it. And that's fine. Not everyone wants the newest car or the newest the newest watch or the newest clothing brand or anything. You know I mean, people some people are just happy just being. But you'll know which one you are because like you're push. Like you've pushed and pushed and pushed and you've got this successful business and everything. You're either one or the two, in my eyes. Some people will push and will have dreams and goals and ambitions and other people will just sort of maybe be the one that will stagnate. Mm, um, mm. But if you are, own it. So I'm yeah. just happy. I'm yeah. just comfortable. I'm just happy. And that's me. Yeah. And I, that's I'm me. not being disrespectful to anybody. And if someone wants to pursue a career as a bus driver or, you know, whatever mm. they're chosen, they want to work in a bank and they want, you know, this, and they're comfortable and they're happy and that's what they want to do. And they're earning the kind of money and they've got the lifestyle that they're happy with. Yeah. Then we've spoke about this before and we're going to do a, a, a podcast about it later about levels of success owning your own level of success that's your level of success that's what you want to mm-hmm. achieve in life then amazing you've achieved what you want to do and you own it and you should be proud of that yeah. it's these people that are not putting the effort in not doing the job that they want to do and then do nothing but bitch and moan mm. about it like the world owes it's them annoying. something yeah. yeah yeah the world yeah. doesn't owe you anything like no one's going to give you like a million pound job no one's going to give you a degree. Yeah. No one's going to give you your dream career. No one's going to give you your 
dream car, your dream holiday. If you want it and you want it bad enough, then you have got to go out and get it. You've got to work for it and you've got to make it work. And if it means that you, I think a lot of people are, are afraid, not of failure, they're afraid of actually committing to something and pushing themselves. Yeah. So, for for example, like we've had people that have applied for part time jobs at the gym, and when they've come in for interviews, I've spoken to them about the hours that they can work, and it's, they've gone, oh, you know, I can only work this day and I can only work that day because I'm at college. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, what are you doing at college? Find out this and the How many days are you at college? On oh, there, uh, two days a week. Okay, how long are you at college? Uh, four hours each day. Okay, so you're there eight hours a week and you're now telling me that you can't then work 16 hours part-time on the days that you're not in college. No, because it doesn't fit in with my college. Right, but you're eight hours. And I'm like, when I was at college, I was at college yeah. five days a week from nine in the morning till four at night and I had three jobs and I had a social life. Yeah. And I earned money, and I got my, my qualifications, and I went on to do what I wanted cool. to do. Yeah. Was it tiring? Fuck yes, it was tiring. Did I go home and fall asleep on the sofa for an hour, get up, get ready? Yeah, but I made it work. Did I want to go out? Yes, I wanted to have a social life. I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. Of course I want to have a social life. I never sacrificed anything about my life or gave up on it. I made it work. I made it work. And yes, there were times when I was absolutely exhausted and you needed to have some downtime and take a day off and everything. But I did that for two years, college and three jobs yeah. for two years. I don't know if we're, if I'm taking the subject a bit off, but I think with, with uh, obviously talking about a bit of coaching and everything, I've seen people start diets and just crumble. I haven't got time for this. I haven't got time for that. If, if you want to go on holiday and you want to save for it and you want it that badly, you will. So if you want to go and diet or go do this, or just excuses, excuses, excuses. Yeah. If you want something bad enough, it will happen. You will make it happen. You will figure out to either finance it or you will figure out how to make that time. Like, obviously, I know Molly made me that stupid comment, but I don't think people use enough hours in the day. Mm. Like you're saying, those people worked four, four hours a day yeah. for two days a week. Well, there's there's 20, other, hours 20 other hours in a day. Yeah. Like, you've got to think about when you're younger and you've been to feet, you've got to utilise it. I'm not saying you've got to work your, you, to the bone, but you have got to definitely working hard when you're young, like, fortifies a stable-ish future as you get older. Do you know what I mean? Nobody's doing all crazy shit when they're young, really. Some people are now. Yeah, yeah. But it's when people are older, do you know what I mean? People have the nice cars when they're older, 30s, 40s, 50s. Like... Ferrari drivers, obviously, maybe the exception of going to be to yourself or whatever, but Ferrari drivers are like 50, 60 years old because yeah. that's the age where they're like successful. Um, but those guys have worked hard, really hard, and have sacrificed. I did a podcast the other week, was on a podcast with someone else, and we were talking about something very similar. And the guy asked me what advice I would give to youngsters, like right now, that were looking to start a career or, or get out. And I was like, one of the most common pieces of advice that is out there is go out and enjoy yourself when you're young. Fuck that. Go out and work hard. Mm -hmm. Set the foundation for your future. Do you know why? You want to start a business, start it when you're 19. Start it when you're 20. Start it when you come out of school. Do you know why? Because never in your life would you have it be in a position where you will have so little responsibility at that point. People don't start businesses or take the risk later in life because they have a lot to lose. They have a family, they have a mortgage, they have bills to pay. That's why a lot of people don't start it. So start it when you're young, when you've got little, the, the least amount of responsibilities. Everyone, yes, of course you're going to want to go out and party, but I can tell you what, you can go out and have a lot more fucking fun when you've got £100,000 in your bank account than you can when you're earning party. 1200 quid a week. Exactly. Party, <laughs> party young and broke. <laughs> is a lot less fun than when you're playing older, better clubs around yeah. better people. Are way, way more fun. So, 100%. yeah, I think working hard when you're younger, um, as you said, setting those foundations. Obviously, still have a life. Don't be a hermit. Mm -hmm. But work hard. And don't care what the people say. Don't care what your friends say. Like, if your friends are, oh, you never come out, you never do this. So what? I'm building foundations for when I'm older. And, when, and I can guarantee those friends will be like, oh, you see, who's it lately? Yeah, he's driving around with a new car. We've seen him, he's doing really well. Exactly. And they'll be, they'll be envious, might be jealous, 
but you'll be successful and they'll be doing some crappy nine to five potentially, probably with the parents still. And you'll probably have your own house, new car. And that's a lot of trouble. Yeah, and it's just like, I think people just don't, I don't know. I, I found that some people that I've met, whether that's lifestyle sort of coaching, whether that's like just coaching itself, they're putting boundaries up before they've even entered into the journey. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can't do this. They're putting any walls up. It's like, just yeah. stop, just think about a way over that wall mm. instead of putting it up. Don't be the pessimist, like be the optimist in the situation. There's the problem, let's find a solution here. That's not there's the problem, let's let's, let's not just, let's just oh, hold it the way. It's a problem, I'm not going to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's problem. Problem. How do we overcome yeah. that problem? Yeah. And anybody that's successful has had problems. It's not an easy ride. Anybody that's. No. Do you know what I mean? Like, this, you know, we've spoke about this many times. This yeah. gym's been tough at times, yeah. but you've found a way forwards. You've kept moving forwards, and that's the biggest piece of advice. If you can start a business and you can. If you start a business at 19, okay, and you dedicate two years of your life to that business and you sacrifice, you make sacrifice, which you're gonna to have to do. You're gonna to have to sacrifice earnings, you're gonna to have to sacrifice social events, you're potentially gonna to have to sacrifice relationships, yeah. that kind of thing. But if you sacrifice two years and work hard and get your head down and then you come out of them two years at 21, 22 year old, with a successful business that's potentially earning three, four hundred thousand pounds a year, you don't have to worry about going to work. All your friends are going to be doing nine to five jobs, probably a lot of them are going to be doing stuff that they don't enjoy. They dread Monday mornings, you know, they can't afford nice cars, they can't afford nice clothes, they can't afford the things that you can afford for two years worth of sacrifice. So it's a, it's a, if you, that you will spend 30, 25 to 30 years of your life at work. Why go and do something you don't enjoy sure. when you could potentially sacrifice make sacrifices for two years yeah. and have an amazing future, not really have to work properly. I think everyone wants that financial freedom, yeah. but few people facilitate it. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a poignant point, I think. A lot of people want it, or oh, I see my successful friend, but they, everyone's worked hard. Mm -hmm. there's I know there's some people that get stuff handed down, but... A lot of people work really, really hard, yeah. and I think a lot of people get struck down when they're successful, but it's like, no, I've... I've worked a lot. A lot. Of, I think a lot yeah. of people don't see the work that goes in there because they don't notice you when you're working hard because you're not because you're not there prevalent. Yeah, you're not on social media. You're not posting out that you're in Dubai mm. drinking champagne and stuff because you're working. You're working yeah. towards that. So they only see the success and that's why they're doing. Oh, he's doing really well. Oh, he's done this. Yeah, but you haven't seen the two years where he worked. That guy works for a hundred hours a week. Exactly. You know, made himself ill and he was earning no money. That's the dedication mm. and and the drive that that person's had to get where he is. So don't resent him because he's, he's worked hard for two years and he's now able to enjoy it. You know, yeah. you, you, everyone has the same opportunities. If that's what you want in life, there's, there's nothing stopping you going out and doing exactly the same. Yeah. So that kind, of, that kind of wraps up our little, little rant today. <laughs> man, <laughs> a little man bun rant. Man bun chai latte. So obviously one, one of the things, obviously like the podcast, we're going to continue of them. So the YouTube and the Spotify and we're on Apple and Amazon and everything mm. now. So go on and give us a like, give us a follow. We welcome the feedback. We want to know what you guys want us to talk about. Um, first of May, um, our new online coaching and fitness app will go live. Yes. There's an opportunity there for you to make like real changes to your life. Um, not just mental health, physical health, mental well-being. Um, you know, this is what the program is all about to, to get you guys to be the best version of yourself. Yeah. Um, so go check out the website, which is www.beatalphaelite.co.uk. Um, thanks for watching today, guys, and we'll see you soon on the next episode. Ciao.